fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. famous masked rider of justice brings us another exciting story of the old west tonight. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. And once again we hear the inspiring cry. Hey, old Silver! The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, old boy. Shadow's waiting for us in the cafe near Abilene. We must hurry, old fellow. Hurry! For a period of time, many high-bred horses had disappeared from ranches in the neighborhood of Abilene. No one had been able to trace them nor to discover the thieves. At last, Cal Cummings, most prominent of the ranchers, directed the sheriff to ask the help of the Texas Rangers. A letter was written and addressed to Ranger headquarters and entrusted to the care of one of the townspeople of Abilene for delivery. The first scene of tonight's Lone Ranger drama opens outside a small cafe on the outskirts of Abilene. Zeke Skinner had been spending his money too freely for drink, and as the evening progressed, he talked more than was wise. His careless conversation was overheard, and when he staggered from the cafe, he was halted by the threat of a heavy gun and the stern voice of the Lone Ranger. Stand where you are, Skinner. Well, what does this mean? Go through his pockets, Tonto, and find that paper he was talking about this evening. Me mm, get him. Here, mister. You can't do this to You'll me. You'll see what we can do. But, mister, I ain't got nothing for you to steal. Time I... to go back to Abilene, didn't you? Oh, boy. Can't a man just talk? Did you find the paper, Tonto? Me got paper here. Let me see it. That's my property. You can't... This is what we want, Tonto. Hip. Get to the saddle. Uh, me, me ready. Hey. Now for Abilene. Hail Silver! One evening, several days after the masked man took the paper from Zeke Skinner, Cal Cummings stood at the Abilene Bar with a the sheriff. Their conversation is about the theft of horses in the neighborhood. Cummings is speaking. Tell you, Sheriff, there just ain't no way to account for this horse thief that's been working around here. It's got me beat, Cal. That's why I was willing to send for rangers. I know when I'm against something I can't savvy. Oh, you're a smart hombre, Sheriff. I reckon you savvy that men in my position won't tolerate the loss of high bed horses for very long. Don't get wrong notions, Cummings. I ain't sent for the rangers just because you ordered me to. No? I done it simply because I can't locate the horse thieves myself. And I hate horse thieves worse than killers. I'll see the rats hung if I have to send for the hull blamed army. You reckon, Sheriff, I'll change my mind about buying a drink. <laughs> I figured me and you understood each other. I buy my own drinks. Then I don't owe nothing to no one. Well, I'll join my tap hand over yonder. <laughs> Someday, Steve, I'll take some of that high-handed way out of that, Sheriff. Yeah, I'm with you, Cummins. How are things fixed for tonight? All set. 
The boys have got that big white hole spotted at the hitch rack again. Good. Found the man that owns him yet? No. But it's true that he goes masked. He's a hard man to locate, though. Well, he must be close by if the horse is here. What about the other horse? A redskin owns it. He's the masked man's partner. Darn curious. They hitch the horses outside and then don't show up nowhere. Yeah, that makes stealing the big horse risky. You don't know where they'll come from. Everything is set, though, ain't it? Yeah, if only the plans work out. We'll get the high sign in a few moments. In spite of the way Cummings had spoken to the sheriff, he himself was the leader of the thieves. Silver, the Lone Ranger's horse, seemed to him a splendid prize, and Cummings' men were given orders to steal it. Silver put up a terrific battle as the crooks dragged him from the hitch rack. The masked man and Tonto were at the rear of the cafe watching Cal Cummings when they heard the commotion at the front. Tonto, that's Silver. What matter? Come on, we'll see what's going on out front. They're taking Silver away. You take white color. Go get him, thief. If only I could shoot to kill. And there, other horse near, white color. I'll take your horse. You take the other. We'll get after those thieves. Uh, Silver will fight those crooks every step of the way. Any color. I'll All take All right, you. stranger. Price them. We got you covered. Put down those guns. My horse is stolen. Keep your hands high or we shoot. Don't take no risks, mister. We're Texas Rangers. You? That's right. We're here to get the horse thieves. And it looks like we got him. What's going on here? What's all the noise? Them's the Texas Rangers. We seen this mask on Bray and Engine taking horses. And the engine's set to mount one with a CC brand. Well, that's my horse. My own horse has been stolen. We were borrowing a horse to get after the thieves. Tell that to the jury. We got him covered. Gosh, it don't take you gents long to make an arrest. Oh, you're the sheriff, huh? Yep, my jail's at your disposal. We figured something funny when we seen a masked man coming this way on the run. If you were here, you saw thieves make off with my horse. (laughs) That's a likely story. I'll help you lock him up. Maybe they'll tell where the other mounts is hid. Gahula! Yes, Tonto. What's that? Ohlal Tula. Chu Talu. That's all we can do, Kimosabe. Hey, cut that chatter and engine. You're under arrest. The only reason I don't draw and shoot is because one of you would have to die. But there's another way. You're under arrest. Now, Tonto. Now we got to go. Blast him. Come on, come on. Uh, he got loose. Shoot him. Get this head skin off of me. He got us off guard. Get your gun. Come on. Two doctors see him. Get this engine off me. Well, I got the engine. Well, we got him anyhow. Uh, you got me. That all right. You'll pay for this. Thought you were slick to jump us and spill the lot of us. You let the masked man get away. Now take it easy. We'll corral him later on. The main thing is we got one of the horse thieves. We ought to drill him on the spot. No, don't do that. Take him to jail. Make him tell all he knows. Keep him there till he gets hung. The Lone Ranger had made his escape for two reasons. He knew that as long as he was held in jail, he could not recover silver. And once captured, the mask that concealed his identity would be taken from his face. While Tonto kept the sheriff, Cummings, and the other two men busy, the masked man fled on Tonto's horse. Some hours later that same night, we find the two men, Ben and Dave, in Cal Cummings' ranch house. We hear Ben speaking. Me and Dave hung around town for a while, Cummings. Then we come out here. Yeah, it was Ben's idea to see what the talk in town was. What is the talk? Well, everyone's convinced the engine is a horse thief. <laughs> it was sure lucky break for us, catching him hands down like that. Trying to steal my horse. That was done on purpose. The boys left that one of yours where they got the big whiting from, figuring the masked man would ride it. It didn't happen like we figured. But it worked out all right. Kale, it was sure a slick scheme, making everyone, including the sheriff, think we was Texas Rangers. We got you <laughs> boys here without rousing suspicion. It sure did. 
Now you'll be able to do a lot for us. Just watch us. <laughs> Wonder what the sheriff'd say if he knowed about his letter to the governor asking for Texas Rangers. Well, what did you do with it? I give Zeke his orders on it and paid him off. Think he's likely to come back? No, not him. Now then, boys, let's get down to some planning. Well? I got a half a dozen other horses lined up to take. All good ones? The finest. Just give us the orders, that's all. I got an idea to make folks more than ever sure the Injun and his part are horse thieves. Yeah? And get us horse flesh into the bargain. Oh, let's hear it, Cal. The engine has got to make his escape. Mm, I don't hanker to see that happen. When he busts loose, he takes a lot of horses with him. Oh, it might be fixed to look like that part of his with a mask busted him out. That's it. Wonder where he went to, anyway. Oh, he'll be a long ways from here by this time. Reckon he's still riding. Now, we got to make dead sure of one thing. What's that? That the engine travels when he gets loose. Any reason why he wouldn't travel? I don't take chances, boys. Well? we got to start lynch talk. Lynch him? Is that what you mean? That wouldn't work out for your plan. You can't lynch him. Oh, he won't get lynched. We'll get a mob rile, though. Then when he gets out, he'll travel fast. Well, I don't expect the sheriff will take to lynching. Well, I'll have one of the boys keep him in tow away from the jail. Steve can rile the lynch mob. That sounds like a good scheme, eh? Hey, Cummins! Now, Steve. Oh, that white horse is a devil on four legs. I can't handle the critter at all. Where's he at? The stable. It was all quiet and calm. Then all of a sudden... Well? Gosh, I wish you'd seen it. Them ears poke forward and the head come up, and then it started in raising particular Ned. Biting, pawing, kicking, I don't know what now. Gosh, it's a powerful critter. That ain't all. I've seen them shoes it's wearing, and boss, I never seen none like them before. How's that? I'd stake my life on it. They're solid silver. Silver? Wait. Leaping buzzards. Silver shod horse. Pure white. Strong as a dozen horses. Listen, I'll open the door. Shut up, Steve. Don't you savvy it? If that horse is what I think, we got the most famous horse in the world. How's that? You never hear tell of Silver? Silver? You mean the owner's man? The Lone Ranger, that's what. Listen to that critter kick and howl. Listen here. If that's the Lone Ranger, he wouldn't ride away from here. He wouldn't leave that horse. The horse was quiet till a while back, and then he started in. And that means his master's around here somewhere. Get all the boys out. Have them scour this ranch for the masked man. I'll go get him. Throw a guard around the stable. I will. Give orders if that man seen to shoot him on sight. Come on. You too, Dave. Right. The chance of a lifetime. Boys, we got the famous Silver and never known it. We're going to do big things with him. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, Cal Cummings, leader of the thieves who had been stealing horses in the Abilene district, ordered the theft of silver, the great white horse belonging to the masked man. When the Lone Ranger borrowed another horse to pursue the crooks, he and Tonto were arrested by the sheriff and two men posing as Texas Rangers. The mystery rider escaped, however, and made his way to the Cummings ranch where Silver, sensing his presence, whinnied loudly. Our next scene reveals Cummings and the two false Texas Rangers, seated in their saddles, watching the stable that holds Silver. Horse is quiet now. Reckon the masked man ain't been here after all. I'll drat the luck. 
I hope to get a shot at him. So do I. Just as well. If he had been here, he might have heard our plans. And that had spoiled everything. Yeah. But he wouldn't have had the chance to kill if we'd have got him. You might have and you might not. I'm as well satisfied if he's kept aboard the Redskins' horse and hightailed it away from these parts. What are we going to do? Stay on guard in the saddle all night? I'll get the boys together and we'll take turns. Well, me and Dave have had a hard day, Cal. It's a long trip from where we sold them other horses to here. Oh, uh, you boys can sleep. you got a busy day tomorrow. I'll see the stable's guarded. Tomorrow we got to pose as rangers and... Then at night, we got to bust the engine out of jail. <laughs> then take another lot of horses with us when we leave here to hunt the horse thieves. The following day, the Lone Ranger removed his mask and cleverly disguised himself to look like a rancher. Then he entered the sheriff's office, behind which was the town's one-room jail, where Tonto was held. The sheriff, seated at his desk, looked up at the Lone Ranger's approach. You're a stranger around here, mister. Where are you from? You have a prisoner here, Sheriff. Yeah, an engine off thief. I'd like to have a look at him. For what? I think he might be a man I saw near the box K spread. Has the Box K lost horses, too? Hadn't you heard? No. The Box K is out in my county. I'll go on back. That door at the rear is the door to the jail room. You can speak to the prisoner between the bars. After I've talked to him, I'll be able to tell you whether or not he's the man we suspect. Well, it don't matter anyhow. He's sure to hang as soon as he gets tried in court. I'll speak to him. Mm, me know you come. Tonto, I've learned the entire plan. Uh -huh. We weren't sure of our facts until last night when those men who called themselves Texas Rangers pulled their guns to cover us. Texas Ranger not do that? No. They don't draw their guns until it's time to fire. After I left you, Tonto, I went to the Cummings Ranch. You hear things there? Yes. Silver knew I was there, too. He kicked up quite a fuss. Color think you there? Yes, they did. I had to leave, Silver. If I'd taken him, the horse thieves would have known I'd overheard their plans and they would have changed them. Oh. As it stands now, they'll go through with their idea. And it'll give us a chance to prove to everyone that they're crooks. Hey, you there. You from the Box K. Yes? It's taken you a long time to find out what you want to know. I'm nearly through, Sheriff. Well, hurry it up. I'll try to get Silver after the men have left the Cummings Ranch tonight, Tonto. Then I'll come back here. Meantime, two men will come to let you out of jail. What Tonto do? Take this gun. Hide it in your shirt and listen carefully to what I tell you. Cummings and his scheming companions left the ranch that night, planning to rouse the townspeople against Tonto. As they disappeared from sight, the masked man, silent as a shadow, raced across the open plain to the stable. A moment later, a thunder of hoofs and silver with a lone ranger in the saddle sped into the night. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cummings... Dave and Ben took cover behind a dark row of buildings near the jail. Their Confederate Steve was busily playing his part to excite the mob against Tonto. Cummings is giving directions to the two men beside him. Now remember, boys, as soon as we let the red skin out, we get back to my place. And you two will have to take them horses we picked up tonight and start them moving out of these parts. We'll take them to the same place as the others. Yeah, and sell them fast. Get back here with the cash. Leave it to us, Colonel. I am. I just wish we could take that white horse along. Well, you can't. He's too hard to handle. He'd fetch a good price. I'll leave the critter with me till the next time. Maybe I'll have him broke by then. 
Oh, ain't it time something happened? Yeah. I figured Steve would have started the lynch talk by this time. What do you say, man? Start now. Good. I'd pull on before we left that Pettis team trial. And likely not get found guilty. You know me, boys. I ain't for lynching a man no more than you are. Maybe we better let the law take its course. That's all right in most cases, but now I think we I don't... don't like lynching a man. A horse thief ain't a man. Look at what that critter's done. Sam, you lost two fine horses. Yeah. Pete lost one. What are you going to do about it? Sit back and do nothing? I say we should take the law in our own hands and string the red skin up. Yes, he's right. You know what'll happen if we don't? You go on trial and say he don't know nothing about the horse stealing. He'd be found guilty, though. We got evidence. What sort of evidence you got? He was catched by Texas Rangers stealing Cal Cummins' horse. Cal's got his horse back now, ain't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sure he has. Cal's got his horse back, and the engine can say he'd never seen it. Who's there to prove he did? You can't get them Texas Rangers to testify in court. They don't do business that way. You may be right after all. It'd be a disgrace to the town if the redskin horse thief was to be let go free. That's just it. Maybe if he sees he's going to be strung up, he'll tell us where the rest of the stolen horses are hit. There's a chance to get our horses back. Maybe he will talk at that. Most likely he'll tell where his part's at. I tell you, boys, it's worth trying. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What do you say? We get on this. That's the way I feel about the He's working them along in great shape, ain't he, boys? Ed Bunch is all set to start out any minute now. We'd better be set ourselves. Let's get on our horses. Yeah. Yep. As soon as they start moving to the jail, you boys get on the jump. What about the sheriff? I locate him and stay with him. Come on, boys. We'll take the jail by storm. Who's got a rope? That's it. Bring it up there. Bring it up there. mob of townspeople, raised to a pitch of fury by Steve's speeches, headed for the jail. Cummings left to find the sheriff and keep him from interfering. At the same time, Dave and Ben rode swiftly to the rear of the jail to play their part in the plot engineered by their leader. Here we are, Dave. I think we can get this back door open as easy as the front. Sure thing. It was a good stunt plan in that lynching. Of course. It's the only way we can make sure the engine be able to run for his life. He's innocent and he knows it. Might be willing to stand trial. Uh, wait a minute. Hey, you redskin. You in there. What you want? Listen, we're getting this door open, Savvy. We don't want you to get strung up. Hey, let me get this bar in the lock. I'll pry it open. There. There. You know us, Injun. We're the men that put you here. Texas Ranger. Huh? That's who we are. We put you here for trial, Injun, not to get lynched. Lynch mob come this way. You hear it, don't you? And me not steal horse. You might be able to prove that in a court, but you can't convince a lynch mob of it. What you do now? Stand back, Redskin. I'll fix that lock. Hand me that crowbar, Dave. Here. Uh, all right. Yeah, we got a horse we'd pull you right over yonder. Get aboard it and travel fast. You let me go away? We don't let no man face a lynch mob. Me not go. What are you talking about, you crazy galoot? Don't you hear the men coming here to string you up? Let me hear them. Then get moving. You're free now. Run. Not so fast. What the Sam here? The mask man. You covered. Me got them gun too. Uh, what? Get the... into that jail. Uh, you, both of you. Me show me. You. Uh, the mob's at the other door right now. You can't do this. We're Texas Rangers. Oh, oh, you can't leave the red. Stand apart. We aim to get that red no, you can't. Come on, let him try. Well, you ain't gonna have enough. Come on, Dave. 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 I'll shoot the gun from anybody else who tries that. My hand! Where's your horse seat, boys? Get him! Wait! 
I'll show you the real horse thieves. I don't savvy this. I'd Be like quiet. to Be quiet. There are horse thieves here, and you'll have them in just a moment. Sheriff, these two men are no more Texas Rangers than you are. That? They're two of the thieves who've been working around here. Oh, he lies. Corey does. Those are the men who have been taking the horses from the Cummings Ranch and selling them. Where's Cal Cummings? There he is, trying to get away. Come back here, Cummings. Get through here. Come on, Cal. We'll see if the man with them guns is telling the true yeah. facts. Maybe these are the critters that's been taking horses from your spread after all. Not Cal Cummings' horses. They take the horses which Cummings and Steve and other C.C. Waddies have been stealing from all of you. Those animals go first to Cummings' place. Oh, that ain't true. Wait he a got... minute. Cummings. You persuaded the sheriff to send for Texas Rangers, didn't you? Well, I... You gotta admit that much, Cal. Yes, I did. And they come here and found you and that redskin. No Texas Rangers came here because you paid the man who was supposed to take the sheriff's letter to stay away from here and not deliver the letter. That ain't so. You can't prove no such charge. You did that so you could bring in those two friends of yours and have them pose as Rangers to frame someone in town for horse stealing. Then you intended to start a lynch mob. Steve did that. It was Steve the start of the talk all right enough. Then your two fake Texas Rangers were to let the prisoner escape. You plan to have him suspected of stealing a lot more horses. Boys, this all just talk. You can't let a masked man and redskin hold a lot of you at bay with six guns. Rush him. Rush him yourself if you've a mind to. Keep talking, stranger. You got any proof of what you say? I have the letter you wrote, Sheriff. To the Texas Rangers? Here it is. It was never delivered. You can find Zeke Skinner if you want to. He'll tell you how much Cal Cummings paid him and how he lost it in a gambling place on the outskirts of Abilene. There ain't a word of truth in what he says. By thunder, he talks a straight story. Is a letter genuine, Sheriff? This is a letter I wrote, all right enough. Why don't you men rush these two? That's it. Don't let, let them talk you out of doing justice, boys. Maybe they're talking us into doing justice. You want more proof? You got more proof, stranger? Go to Cummings' place right now. You'll find the horses that were taken away from here tonight. Yeah. Horses stolen from you. You'll also find letters from the men who bought the stolen horses, telling Cummings to get more of the same kind. Cry uh, thunder. All you gotta do is look at Cummings' face to know the masked man tells the truth. Boys, wait. Listen. Don't rope me. I got a right to a trial. You don't get a trial, all right. And so all these crook parts of yours. That's more than you wanted to give the redskin. Boys, tie him up. You two deputies stand guard till we get the jail doors fixed. Yeah, we Come on, Hunter. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get back a lot of stolen property and jail an armory scheme and pack a... Oh, yeah. Together again, Silver, old boy. Come, Toto. We're riding. Hi, have just heard another of the famous Lone Ranger stories featuring the jewel players. These exciting western dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit and are sent to you each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7.30 p.m. This is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger, Incorporated. Chance speaking, this is the Mutual Broadcasting System.